Okay, so I set up my camera here so you can at least see the the main part of this training. Rasta is rearing to go. I don't know if you can totally see that. Probably not. I'll just zoom up real quick. There's Rasta. He's already like, I know what you want me to do. Um, okay. Sorry, videotaping. Not that easy. Okay. Ready, Rasta? I'll come over here. Come on, bud. Come on, Rasta. So right now, what would ruin this training would be if I was slamming the door in his face once he stepped down there. Um, because then he would feel like it was all just this big conspiracy and I was just trapping him inside his cage when he doesn't want to be in there. So I need to slowly work up to that. And I also want to get him to the point where he's maybe going to this perch right here. Um, or the perch inside, not just barely inside and then shutting the door on him. Um, and I could also, right now he has two water dishes in there so he can bathe a bunch. But um, I could also switch one of those out and put a treat in there as well. So, yeah. The shorter way to do this, which most people would do, is just putting a treat in the cage, letting the bird walk in the cage, and then closing the door behind him. But that's also just another way to kind of trick your bird <clears throat> versus letting him decide that he wants to go in there. So this is kind of what I've been trying to do. And Rasta looks like he wants to do one more. So I'm going to end on a really good one. I'm going to jackpot reward him for this and give him a whole almond. He does it well anyway. He's aggressive. So, Rasta, you want to do one more time? Come on, bud. I'm so excited about this. It's really cute. Come on. Come on. So you can see he's playing himself. He's going in as he wants, going around it as he wants. As long as he doesn't feel forced to make a specific decision, he'll be happy to go in there. So yeah, I think this might happen a little bit faster than I initially thought. Um, just started working on this and I videotaped every training session so you can see how fast it progresses when they already know to touch the stick. Um, and he just earned a jackpot reward, so he's super excited about this. He earned a whole almond where I was just giving pieces. I've also gotten to the point where I don't have to give him cheese as a reward for anything anymore because he's flying. And initially I was using cheese to entice him or to encourage him to fly. And now he's doing that all on his own, so he no longer needs that. He's actually having fun flying. So he doesn't even need that anymore. I've just gone to almonds. And what I'm realizing is I might even be able to get him to take treats um, as pieces of orange because he loves it so much, like Karen was telling me. Um, he loves his oranges. So if I keep that out of his diet and use that as well for training and just vary up the treats, 
he's going to really be excited about working for stuff. Um, I may even be able to use scrambled egg because you should have seen him eat the scrambled egg this morning. He was pretty stoked about that.